Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Celeb Dirty. Here are top 10 most intense celebrity sibling rivalries. Number 10, Kim and Kourtney Kardashian. Of all the Kardashian-Jenner sisters, it's always Kim and Kourtney who seem to be feuding. Kim is often making barbed comments about her older sister, branding her the least interesting to look at, and making mean comments about her sense of style. The pair frequently clashed on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which seriously made up for some uncomfortable viewing. I do have to make this deadline for the holiday collection or I'm- Number 9, Michael and Eric Douglas. Part of an acting dynasty that stems from their iconic father, Kirk Douglas, brothers Michael and Eric have always had a lot to live up to. While Michael gets on with his older brothers, Peter and Joel, his half-brother Eric has always been the black sheep of the family. While Michael was winning Oscars, Eric was struggling to make a name for himself. Infamously, the failed stand-up performed at the Comedy Store in London, England, and when the crowd didn't laugh at his jokes, he proclaimed, I'm Kurt Douglas's son. This spurred members of the audience to stand up and declare, no, I'm Kirk Douglas's son. A la Spartacus. When his brother, Michael, was enjoying fame and fortune, Eric died alone of a drug overdose in 2004 when he was 46. Michael, you're going, you're going to make me... Number 8, Julia Roberts and Nancy Motes. It's never easy living in the shadow of a successful sibling, and it's even harder when that sibling is a world-famous and filthy rich superstar, Julia Roberts. The actress's tragic younger's half-sister, Nancy Motes, took her sibling rivalry to extremes, and did her own life at 2014, aged 38. According to reports, she took her own life in an attempt to damage her sister's career and ruin her chances of winning an Oscar. Chillingly, these were Julia's words when she spoke about her sister's passing. She took control and ended her pain. I can't wait to officially belong to another family. Number 7. Prince William and Harry Ever since Prince Harry made the decision to leave the royal family, the true extent of his rivalry with brother William has come to light. In his now infamous Of Oprah Winfrey interview, Harry told the host that he and his brother are on different paths, and moreover, when Harry made the shocking allegations that a member of his family uttered racist comments about his son, baby Archie, Prince William gave a rather cold response. In fact, William actually defended his family following the damning claims, stating, We are very much not a racist family, as opposed to condemning racism. It looks a little cleaner. <laughs> rich for me to claim victory off a of trim. I was definitely... Number 6. Nick, Joe, and Kevin Jonas once upon a time, the Jonas Brothers were the hottest act around. Their wholesome brand of pop delighted fans, they sold millions of records. But things weren't so rosy behind the scenes. In 2013, they split up and Nick made the following statement. Nothing's is working, we hate each other. Subsequently, they went their separate ways and each have their own families and kids now. Um, so, now I have to figure that out and we're gonna have a- Number 5, Ellen Dakota Fanning. Once cherub-faced child stars, acting sisters Ellen Dakota Fanning are now all grown up. Whereas Dakota was more famous sister at one point, with roles in the movies The Cat in the Hat and Charlotte's Web, Elle now enjoys far much success, as the star of the Hulu series The Great, Elle is basking in the limelight, while Dakota's stardom fades. Sadly, this friction caused the sisters to make the devastating decision to move thousands of miles away from each other, with Dakota in New York City, and Elle in sunny LA. Cameron Diaz tried it in her first ever TikTok video on Thursday. Number 4, Michael and Jermaine Jackson. In a way, you can't really blame Jermaine Jackson for being a tad jealous of superstar brother Michael. But really, brotherly love ought to be unconditional, so it's sad that Jermaine let himself become plagued by jealousy rather than simply being happy for Michael's success. Perhaps Jermaine's most scathing attack on Michael came in the form of his 1991 song, Word to the Bad, which contains the lyrics, but it's always you staring in the mirror, constantly faking it, ain't no mistaking it, get a grip cause you're far from breaking it, thinking about the time when we used to be close. Her say this, and I'm her son too. And number three, Alec and Stephen Baldwin. When Alec Baldwin has enjoyed huge success for decades, his brother Stephen's biggest claim to fame is being Justin Bieber's father-in-law. The brothers have been feuding for years, and this rivalry has only worsened in recent times due to Stephen's support for Donald Trump. Stephen shared his thoughts on his brother's impersonation of Trump, saying, "But it goes too far when you're attacking the wife and you're attacking the kids. What's that got to do with it? You don't like Trump? Do what you got to do, but don't pick on people's families. That's not cool." Because of your age difference, and that there was a line he was trying to explain to Ilaria, and Number two, Liam and Noel Gallagher. One of the most notorious sibling rivalries of all time, Oasis members Liam and Noel Gallagher have always had a horrible relationship. Even at the height of the band's fame in the 90s, the brothers were fighting, verbally and physically. When performing on MTV Unplugged, Liam refused to sing, claiming he had a sore throat, so Noel took his place. And Liam watched from the balcony and persistently heckled his brother. This led to the band's breakup in 2009 because of the rivalry culminating. Wilma, 
Or is it really? Yeah. You don't like each other. Number one, Madonna and Christopher Ciccone. The feud between Madonna and her brother Christopher all started when he wrote a best-selling memoir in 2008, entitled Life with My Sister Madonna. Truth be told, Christopher was capitalizing on his sister's fame by revealing unflattering anecdotes about her, which is a pretty tacky move. Christopher described Madonna as mean, bossy, sweaty, and moody, and claimed that he wasn't paid enough when he worked as her backstage dresser for 20 years. Although they eventually reconciled, they reignited the feud in 2017. But this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.